there is abundant evidence in our hands to show that you have given yourself at the reading of fortunes. Do you deny it? I am innocent to a witch. I know what not a witch is. How do you know then that you are not a witch? If I were, I would know it. Why do you hurt these children? I don't hurt them. I scorn it. Well, I have evidence for the court. Thomas Putnam is reaching out for more land. I have evidence for the court. Arrest them, Excellency. Hands off me. Damn you. Let me go. They will be hanging my wife. Let me go. Damn you. Who is this man? I'm asked a question. I am old enough to answer it. My name is Giles Corey. I have 600 acres and timber in addition. It is my wife you'll be condemning now. They'll be telling lies about my wife, sir. Do you take it upon yourself to determine what this court shall believe or set aside? Your Excellency, we mean no disrespect. Your Excellency, I only said she'd be reading, reading weird books and they come and take her from my home. Disrespect indeed. It is a disruption, mister. Sit him down, Eric. What would he tell us, Mayor Warren? She never saw no spirit, sir. Never saw no spirits. They have come to overthrow the court, sir. In support of the entire contention of the state in these trials is that the voice of everyone is speaking through these children. I know that, sir. And you, Mayor Warren, how came you to cry out to people for sending the spirits against you? It were pretend, sir. I cannot hear you. It were pretend, she says. Excellency, you surely cannot think to let so vile a lie be spread in the open court. It did not, but it's tried. Add upon me that she will dare come here with such a tale. Now, Mr. Proctor, before I decide whether I shall hear you or not, it is my duty to tell you this. I know that, sir. Mr. Proctor. A, hey, sir. Have you ever seen the devil? No, sir. You are, in all, a gospel Christian? I am, sir. Such a Christian that will not come to church but once a month? Not come to church. I have no love for Mr. Paris. Your Honor, I cannot think you can judge the man by such evidence. I judge nothing. Excellency, does it not strike upon you that so many of these women have lived so long in such upright reputation? Do you read the gospel, Mr. Proctor? I read the gospel. I think not. Mr. Proctor, this morning your wife sent me a claim that she's pregnant. My wife's pregnant? There have been no sign of it. We have examined her body. But if she says she is pregnant, then she must be. That woman will never lie, Mr. Danforth. She will not. Never, sir. Never. You say your only purpose is to save your wife. Good then. She saved at least this year, and a year is long. Will you read this first, sir? It's a sort of statement. How many names are here? 31, Your Excellency. These people should be summoned for this questioning. This is a clear attack upon the court. Is there a defense an attack upon the court? Excellency. Mr. Hill. We cannot bring it more. There is a prodigious fear of this court in the country. Then there is a prodigious guilt in the country. Are you afraid to be questioned here? I may only fear the Lord, sir. But there is fear in this country, nevertheless. Push me not with the fear in the country. No corrupted man may fear this country, Mr. L. I said none. Now look here, Mr. L. Mr. L, you surely do not doubt my justice. Excellency, I have signed 72 death words. I am a minister of the Lord and I dare not take a life. There would there be no proof so immaculate, no slightest qualm of conscience may doubt it. I have this morning signed away the soul of a broken nurse, Your Honor. I should like to say, Mr. Powers, I bid you to be silent. Mr. Shiver, will you go into the courtroom and bring the children? Mayor Warren, how came you to this turnabout? Has Mr. Proctor threatened you? No, sir. Has he ever threatened you? No, sir. Do you know that God damns all lives? Or is it now you know? No, sir. Hey, sir, I cannot lie. I am with God. I am with God. Abigail Williams, is there truth in this? No, sir. I have not to change, sir. She lies. A puppet we discovered in Mr. Proctor's house, start by a needle. May Warren claims that you sat beside her in court when she made it. Is that true? It's a lie, sir. Goody Proctor always keeps popping. Your Honor, 
my wife never kept no puppets. Mary Wayne confessed they were her puppets. There might also be a dragon with five legs in my house, but no one has ever seen it. Mary, now tell the governor how you dance in the woods. Excellency, since this man has came to Salem, he's been blackening my name. In a moment, sir. What is this dancing? I, Mr. Proctor. Abigail leads the girls to the woods, your honor. They were dancing there naked. Mr. Paris discovered them himself in the dead of night. Mr. Paris? I can only say, sir, I have been found any of them naked. And this man is? Boy, you discovered them dancing in the woods. Abigail? Excellency, when I first arrived from Beverly, Mr. Hale told me that. Do you deny it, Mr. Paris? I do not, sir, but I never saw any of them naked. But she up danced. Hey, sir. Abigail, I bid you now, search your heart. That the spirits you have seen are illusion only. Why this? This is a base question, sir. I have been hurt, Mr. Danforth. I have seen my blood running out of me. I have been near to murdered every day just because of doing the duty of calling out the devil's people. And this is my reward? To be mistrusted like a... Child, I do not mistrust you. Think you could be mighty? Like the power of hell turn your wits? What is the shirt? I know, I know not. A cold wind has come. Abby! They're pretending! Mary, can you send the shadow on me? Lord, save me! I freeze, I freeze. It's a wind, a wind! Abby, don't do that! Mary, do you wish her? I said to you, do you send your spirits out? Oh, Heavenly Father, take away the shadow! What do you call heaven, you naughty prostitute? Man, man. What do you? It is a naughty prostitute. He is lying, Mr. Danforth. I have known her, sir. I have known her. You? You are a leisure? She thinks to dance with me on my wife's grave. But it is a naughty prostitute vengeance, and you must see it. My wife is innocent, but she knew a naughty prostitute when she saw one. What luck did it give me? I would not have such luck. You have been waiting her. Mr. Paris, go bring good wife Proto inside. Your wife, you said. An honest woman? In her life, sir, she have never lied. And when she put this girl out of your house, she pulled her out as an alert? Hey, sir. And knew her of a alert? Hey, sir, she know her for a harlot. Come here, woman. Look at me, not your husband. We are given to understand that one time you dismissed your servant, Abigail. That is true, sir. For what cause did you dismiss her? She is satisfied.